Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be doing um, sublimation on this tote bag. This is a sublimation tote bag. Um, I already have my image out, so I'm just going to cut around it. And then I'll be pressing this with my Cricut Easy Press. So I already have it on and it's heating up. Um, I'll be pressing this 400 degrees at 60 seconds. So um, once it gets heated up, I'm gonna pre-press it and then I will uh, put my, I'll go ahead and put my parchment paper in there. Um, so this one, um, if you, seen my previous video um this parchment paper i got the sheets from the dollar tree i'll be using this full sheet um, and then i'll use this on top so let's see um this is my first time using this parchment paper on something like this. Um, the last video I did was a coffee mug, so um, it was fine with that, but I'm not sure how it would be with this because I never used this um, thin parchment paper. So once that heats up, then I will be back to pre-press and to line my design up. I'll go ahead and line this up um, in the center or where I think is in the center. And then I'm not going to use tape for this. Um, so I'll just go ahead and place my parchment paper down. And then um, this is at 375. So once it gets to 400, I will go ahead and press it for 60 seconds. Okay, it's ready. So I'll go ahead and place it down and then I'll press the little cricket button and the timer starts. So I'm going to press this for 60 seconds and I will be right back once it's closer to time. Okay, so it's complete. I'll go ahead and lift this up. And it did do a little shifting down here at the bottom. Um, this is a result, again, of not using tape. I didn't want to use the tape and um, and then it leave tape marks. So that's why I didn't use it in this case. Um, but if you're doing this for a customer, of course, you want to use tape. You always want to um, do it the right way. That way you don't have, you know, little small mistakes like that. So, um, but this is how it looks, 460 seconds. This is a sublimation tote bag. Um, this is, this was not in our top five um, things for Valentine's Day, but this is a good idea that you can do for Valentine's Day. Maybe a bag of customized with someone's name or the design and stuff it with something or something like that. But if you guys would like information, on where to purchase these tote bags. We do have a vendors list on our website, ercprintandsupplies.com that you guys can check out. Um, and our vendors for everything that we used in our videos and everything that we've sold or are selling blanks, 
the vendor is on that list. So um, you guys can go check that out. ERCPrintAndSupplies.com. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.